Well, hello, my friends. Michelle Wilson with First Team Estates, Christie's International, and you know what day it is. Happy Friday to you. I hope you've had an awesome week and have fantastic plans for your weekend. Hey, this past week, the newest edition of the Stephen Thomas Report on Housing came out, and as usual, it is chock full of amazing data, statistics, and overall information regarding the real estate market. And of course, the hot button, as usual, is still inventory and the supreme lack of it that we are experiencing. And as a result, the, the demand out there is just unprecedented and we're seeing of course still multiple offers on homes the inventory level is so low we typically would have 249 percent more homes on the market than we do right now currently we're sitting right around 1550 homes on the market we should be more likely at 5400 homes on the market that is an extreme difference which is resulting on an amazing timeline on how quickly you can get your home sold the median time that it takes the number of days to get your home sold is six days with the average being just 20 which is pretty remarkable for real estate in general we've never seen numbers this low and the good news for sellers of course is that's resulting in multiple offers on average homes are selling for 103.5 percent of their list price many of them selling for 20 percent or more over their list price and on average 73.5 percent of the homes out there sell for over their list price it's an extraordinary market people ask me all the time you know when's the best market to sell your home to buy a home the best time to do that is when you need to do that. The market that we know is just the market that's in front of us right now. That's the only thing that we can control or understand and strategize for. The market in the future is completely unknown. We do know that interest rates went up this past week. The Fed did go through on their promise to do that. And we anticipate at least another four to six times where they will do that again throughout the course of the year. If we see sustained higher interest rates, that's when we will start to see those affect the buyers, which will in turn affect demand, which will in turn affect the inventory and things will start to change. But we will need to see those interest rates sustained at those higher numbers. And that will take time to see if that actually happens. Lots of unknowns in the future, which is why the best market we have is the market we have in front of us right now. And as always, I'm here for any questions. Check out the report by scrolling down and tapping on the image for all of the data that we've been talking about today and more. And of course, you know, I can't let you go until we go over the sales that happened this past week in the Tri-City area. It still continues to be, of course, a vigorous market. San Clemente scooched up from 49 homes to 54 homes on the market this week with 17 new listings, 31 new escrows, and 14 closings. Over in Dana Point, they actually scooched down slightly from 48 to 41 homes on the market with seven new listings, 21 escrows, and 14 closings. And our friends in San Juan Capistrano also dropped just a bit from 37 to 35 homes on the market with 10 new listings, 15 new escrows, and three closings. Hey, always here for any questions you might have. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Take care.